Hello, this is Elliot from the Revitalised Clinic in Gravesend and uh, I'm an osteopath and also the founder of the Revitalised Clinic. So today we're going to be speaking about how we can rehabilitate and also lengthen the adductor muscles in the hips. So this will help anyone, for example, if you're in a frog position, uh, so this position here, and you want more mobility in your hips, you have to get your knees to come down, it help, would help with the squat, would help with sports that require a large range of motion, for example. If you need help, then this is for you, um, but just make sure that you're checked over by a healthcare practitioner first, uh, for example, an osteopath, physio, or chiropractor, because these are quite uh, intensive movements for the hips, and you can load them as much as is advised to by the healthcare practitioner. So, the first thing we're going to do is just to warm up the adductors. We're going to take a pillow, and from this position, I just want you to squeeze the pillow. Squeeze as hard as about a six or seven out of ten. Hold that for say 30 seconds, then relax, let the hips open up, and then do the same squeeze and repeat just to warm the hips. If you wanted to continue to warm up the hips in a lengthened state, then what you can do from here is allow your knees to drop out and what you can even do is bridge at the same time so from here let the knees drop out pull the knees towards the floor and then raise my buttocks off of the floor and back down knees in knees out squeeze the glutes to come up and you'll just say repeat that now you might be that you can only get to here which is fine you then just bridge from that position could be that you only get to here and that's fine you only bridge to that position you need to make sure the pain is low or at a level which is agreed between you and your healthcare practitioner. The next phase of this is we can start to load it. So here I've got a five kilo bumper plate. It's not very heavy, it's only five kilos. But from here, I can place this on my knee. And from this position, it's gonna allow my knee to drop to the floor a little bit more. I could place another one on the other leg as well. I've got two options from here. Either I'm gonna hold it there as a, an assisted stretch where I'll get some muscular adaptation, some lengthening, but desensitization, or I can come up so the muscle's more active. So that's causing something called sacroviragenesis, where the muscle is going to lengthen, uh, is going to hypertrophy or grow lengthways, which can be quite advantageous for um, muscle growth, but also flexibility. And the other thing that I can do is, is rep it. So from here, just make very small concentric and eccentric contractions fixing the weight on my knee as I go, just to start to get that muscle to lengthen. So, same principles you would as other exercise, so 30 to 60 seconds of movement or load, or you could even say a 60 second hold, whatever is agreed between you and your healthcare practitioner. But this is a movement that you would probably only do once a day very lightly or once every two to three days at a higher intensity just to allow the muscle to recover. So if you need any help or advice and you know what to do, just go to our website www.revitalizeclinic.co.uk. Um, if you need any help, just give us a call anytime time, we'll book in a free consultation. Uh, it's been my pleasure showing you this exercise today and we'll talk to you or hear from you soon. Thank you.